Jeff Yorga from Flintoff, Saskatchewan, J. Yorga Farms Limousin. We've been raising purebred seed stock since the late 70s. We uh, are taking, currently taking pictures for our fall female sale, September, or October the 16th. Our bull sale is the last, the last Monday in February every year. We think it's important to raise cattle that fit the industry and fit in with what everybody's trying to do. Uh, that's been our focus. That's what we've been doing for you know, close to 50 years. And the breed has changed a lot in 50 years. When uh, cattle first came in and the, the exotic cattle were, were very popular, there wasn't a lot of selection pressure placed on things like disposition, for example. Where today, the limousine breed is a leader in disposition because it's something that breeders have focused on and something that breeders have called for. You know, we, we can stand in the arena with all of our bulls at, the, at sale time. And that's something that I know a lot of our, uh, a lot of British-based cattle can't do that right now. The cattle are also a lot more, a lot easier doing, and they're a lot higher marbling than those original, those original imports were. And it's something that good breeders focus on, and good breeders are able to improve over time. Sometimes with names, it's uh, you, you back into it. When our farm was incorporated, my dad's father, his name is John, and that's what they named the farm was Jay Yorga Farms. And so my dad's name's Kelly and my name's Jeff, and it's just luck that Jay Yorga Farms and my name is a Jay. And so a lot of people ask if that's you know, who it's named after, and that's not the case. It was named after Grandpa a long time ago, and that was before we were even in the cattle business. That was when it was a grain farm. 60 years ago. Uh, we've, we've spent a lot of time with fellow breeders, but one that comes to mind that I think has uh, had the biggest influence on us is Herman Simmons from South Dakota. Herman is in uh, the Limousin Hall of Fame. There are very few people that are actually in the Limousin, North American Limousin Hall of Fame. Herman is one of those people and he's always been very free uh, in, in, our, in his conversations and in his discussion of cattle. We see things the same way and he he was very influential in encouraging us to do things like attend the Denver Stock Show. That's a, a long trip from Canada to head down to Denver every year, but Herman was, was on us for a number of years. This is something that we have to do, and we've, uh, it's now something that's part of our program, and it's something that we do every year. Having sales on the farm, you don't get a lot of opportunities to make sure that your marketing is on point and everything is done uh, as professionally as possible. Uh, we've started using so show champions for that reason. We started with them last year and we're, we're very happy with the work that Maureen has done and the time that she's taken to, to work with us. Uh, she's done a bull sale for us now. She's done our, our female sale this fall, again, October the 16th, and she will be back in December to picture for our February bull sale again. You don't get a lot of opportunities to market cattle. There's a small window when you're able to do it. And doing it as professionally as possible is something that's very important to us. And putting our best foot forward, uh, not just for, for ourselves, but for the industry as well, and for the looms and breed. Well, you can find us on, on Facebook, Twitter, and uh, Instagram, always at JYF Limo. And yeah, where, and where you find your favorite catalogs. <laughs>